Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, I would like to run through the most impactful features that are set to release in Alpha 323. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you so much for the support. Cannot do this without you guys. And before we begin, there is only a few days left now to get the Toby Eye Tracker 5 at 15% off, as this deal will end on the 1st of April. Don't worry if you can't grab it this time round. There are always many more sales going on throughout the year, which I will ensure to let you all know about. But if you are interested in picking one up at 15% off, please do consider using the link provided below, as this will directly support me. And thank you in advance if you have done so. So as we are all aware, Alpha 323 is set to be the most feature-rich patch that I think we have had to date, with a huge amount of new content and polished content some that will be a nice addition for sure, but others impacting the player in a massive way, completely changing Star Citizen's universe and how we play Star Citizen. So today I would like to run through the features that I consider to be the most impactful for the players, ultimately making Star Citizen feel completely different. Let us start with one that I know is up there for many of you as the most important feature, and that is the new star map and minimaps. Now this new star map has been in the works for quite a long time and what we currently have makes life in the verse extremely difficult when it comes to going anywhere. Whether that is navigating a city, finding planetary waypoints or setting up for a long quantum travel, doing any of these can be buggy, fiddly and unintuitive that it can just become frustrating. Not to mention how difficult it must be for new players joining in. This new star map and all of the associated minimaps that will come for 323 and beyond, plus the ability to actually set a way marker to return to anywhere in the verse, will make this new map and system one of the most impactful features for all of us. We all need to use the map at some point, and being able to find our way around is so important, and the ability to place a marker, not just for ourselves, but to share with others, and eventually, hopefully in 323 or later on, sell to others will make this area of the game so enjoyable and rewarding. Now the new star map is going to be a system that will improve Star Citizen for everyone, be that in space in a ship or planet side on foot. Now shifting gears completely, up next is some core tech being the replication layer, which for me personally is probably the most important feature as it gets us that one step closer to a releasable game. But what's impactful about the replication layer for players is how it will help to reduce the speed at which the server degrades, meaning a higher server FPS for a longer period of time, resulting in a much smoother and enjoyable experience for everybody in many areas, for example, like the AI. When the server frame rate is low, the AI and other aspects of the game begin to really suffer and can make playing Star Citizen pretty much unplayable at times. So getting the replication layer in for 323, hopefully for the launch of Alpha 323 to live, will impact all of us in a great way as the game will just be more responsive, more playable and less frustrating. Now next up we have the new hangars and freight elevators. And after watching the Inside Star Citizen talking about these recently, it really showed just how impactful these specific features are going to be for the player, changing the way that we interact with our ships and inventory forever. For the elevators, they will provide a physicalized way of interacting with everything that we own, being able to store and recall any of our items anytime we want them. But what's even more cool will be the ability to store cargo and resources, stockpiling commodities until you have enough to load up a cargo ship or while waiting for prices to increase. Or you could go around and gather up tons of weapons and items and armors, store them and then offer them to players to sell. It will also allow us to create boxes of similar items for quick loading and unloading. For example, having a box of essential items needed for mining or salvaging or combat, kind of like a bug out bag, loading a box with each of these items and then being able to just simply throw that into your ship and off you go. For the hangars, these are gonna act as our very first proper home in the verse. Having a place that we can decorate, come back to, drop items that we find off and display items so that we can always remember how we found them and set them up exactly how we want to make them our own. That is going to be so surreal. Now for multi-crew, it's also a bit of a game changer. Having all of your crew in the same hangar, getting a ship ready for the mission at hand, 
which will be even more involving when the resource network comes along, having players setting up the ship systems, getting components and weapons swapped, fixing up parts if required, or you could just do this on your own, you don't need to do it multi-crew, having a place where you can patch up the damage on your ship, again swapping components or getting cargo and gear into the back, or even loading a ground vehicle in, and so much more. Hangars are going to be so impactful for the players, as they will really feel like a home and a staging area, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see a whole range of furniture and other sort of homely props coming along that we can choose from to decorate in the not too distant future. Now, the item bank is also a feature that I think many might be overlooking its importance, as these and the hangars and elevators mean the local inventory system that we have now will be evolving to the next stage, which is the physicalized inventory, which is where they've always been trying to get to. Now, I know for many of you, this may not be a good idea, as it means a more long-winded approach to something that has become very easy and accessible, and instead of standing in the middle of a landing zone and having access to basically everything you own, you'll either need to go to an item bank so that you can grab small items like weapons, armors, and tools, or to the hangar to get your larger items. Now, this will have a big impact on everyone, and although it might not feel like a positive impact to begin with, it is a necessary step to push the game more towards that physicalized, tactile, and thoughtful experience that Chris Roberts has always wanted it to be. Now, next up, we have the player interaction experience. And this is going to be one of the most impactful changes coming to 323, as this will affect all of us all of the time. Everything we want to pick up, interact with, how we interact with that said item, and how we are presented with the choices will be changing in 323. And firstly, it looks so much cleaner and modern than what we have now, but also far more user-friendly, intuitive, and I suspect a lot more smoother as well. It also presents the player with a choice of how they want to interact with each type of item, customizing a primary and secondary interaction contextually for that type of item as well, and streamlining the whole process. And it will really make the whole experience more refined and feel a lot more polished that you would expect from a game built today. So a hugely impactful change for everybody. Now next up, love it or hate it, Master Modes is the next highly impactful feature coming to 323. And again, this will impact everybody, regardless of what ship you're using. Having the option of SEM or Navigation Mode will determine what and when we use our ship's mechanics or its intention, be that combat or industry, how the ship feels, the balancing of the ship's behaviors, its weapons, and so much more. Flying ships in Star Citizen will begin to feel a lot more realistic and diverse across the whole lineup, with no two ships ever feeling exactly the same. It is also the starting point for further iterations and balancing as well, to offer more unique characteristics for each ship and vehicle, and then eventually, post-323, when the resource network and the Maelstrom damage systems are implemented, changing it up even further. And as we all have to use a ship at some point, this will of course be impactful for us all. Now that is it for known Alpha 323 features that I consider to be the most impactful, but there is another feature that although it's not officially confirmed by Cloud Imperium to be releasing in 323, from what I can see will be coming nonetheless and will likely be pointed out later down the line, most likely before 323 releases to live. Now this is the Vulcan API, which as mentioned in the latest monthly report for the Persistent Universe, it says, February saw the Vulcan team pushing hard toward release. Now, this was also seen as a toggleable option in the settings for the most recent Evocati Alpha 323 patch. However, I am not sure if it is fully integrated yet, but it certainly sounds like they are trying hard to get it implemented. Now, if Vulcan does come for 323, this should unlock the potential for a lot more optimizations. And as CIG have stated in the past, it'll help to improve performance massively. So hopefully, if Vulcan does come in for 323, then we will see a lot more optimizations follow along that should impact us all in terms of performance and optimizations. So there you go. Those are the features coming in Alpha 323 that I consider to be the most impactful for all of us. These features will make the game feel completely different or change the way that we play in a big way. And I am so excited for all of them. But with that said, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you do, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. 
Also, come and hang out over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. You are all more than welcome over there. Having a blast hanging out with you all, chatting about 323, chatting about all the server meshing tests as well, while sometimes playing the game too. If you are new to the verse, do follow the link below. You are welcome to ask any questions you have. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, it does the channel a big favour, and tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.